Okay, so not having it back with another five minute review. This time, as promised, I am doing Enslaved Odyssey to the West. Odyssey to the West, yes. Uh, this game, this is the game that I've been talking about in the past couple videos that I ended up getting for, uh, it was on sale for $15, so I had a $15 credit from Amazon.com, so I went ahead on and picked it up for free, and for me to get this game for free, it has a lot of value. This game is a platformer, and you play as a guy named Monkey, and you are under the control of... Ah, let me see that female that you saw at the beginning of the video. I can't remember her name, but when the video when the game starts, you end up uh, on a slave ship that she she breaks out of her uh, cell and she actually ends up causing a chain reaction, which causes the ship to crash. Uh, apparently, this you know slave ship had uh, captured you from your village. And it was on route, uh, I don't know where it was on route to, but I know where it ended up. This is a futuristic Earth. The ship actually crashes in uh, New York, and it's a very different New York. Um, humanity it seems to be gone. A lot of the buildings are still standing, but they haven't been maintained because, you know, most of civilization is obviously gone. So, you know, there have been train stations with trees and everything growing up through them, and there's debris and everything all over the place the graphics on this game look good they're vibrant they're uh, crisp they they pop out they don't look dull it's obvious that the, the developer took a lot of time and effort putting work into the graphics part of the game the storyline is very good too uh, the teamwork e effort between the two main characters works flawlessly um, right now, as you can see, I'm telling her to de to be a decoy so the the machines can stop shooting me long enough for me to climb behind one of them and take their gun. Uh, the missions are uh, pretty straightforward. You uh, you know what you have to do. There's a checkpoint. Or, uh, yeah, there's a checkpoint marker that leads you where to go. Uh, if you need to climb up on something, it's normally highlighted or it's you know common sense that you could climb up platforms and ladders and things of that nature you have a staff that you can use that I'm about to use to beat this machine to death right there and you can um, you can upgrade that to give it extra powers and you can also you know improve your shield or your health and things of that nature and the way to do that is that you have to uh, pick up little orange orbs and you've seen me do it in this video earlier and that's all you do you collect those and then during the game you have a chance to upgrade your equipment so that you can be in a better position to fight whatever comes your way it the game has a lot of depth to it it's not just you know go to a point a to point b you have to really strategize how you two are going to stay together there are certain times where uh, the main character monkey can jump a gap, but the uh, his partner cannot, so he actually has to pick her up and toss her over the the, uh, the gap, so that you two can stay together. It's you guys work together, but monkey is really a slave to her because she put this uh, this thing on his head. It's like a crown, and if he doesn't do exactly what she says, she activated. She'll activate it and it causes pain and discomfort and it could kill him so he has no choice but to help her get back to her uh, village or I'm, th I'm thinking the village if I remember correctly uh, right now what am I trying to get I'm trying to get her to heal me but it, that part I just picked that up so that's a new ability and I'm trying to figure out how exactly how to get it to work I think we have to be near each other and she has to be standing still she keeps moving walking away from me but I like this game on a scale of 1 to 10. I give it a solid 8.5. It's a really good game. It's fun. It keeps you on your toes. The boss battles are entertaining. There's not really a dull moment per se. Uh, in transition between action moments, maybe, but even then you're strategizing and trying to figure out what to do. So pick this game up. This video is done. I'm not having it, and I'm out.